What's up, fire signs? It's going to be a quick love reading, mini love reading for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Ooh, I love how it got blew that right out. <laughs> I'm tired of all the thumbnails showing up blank. Alright, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. First card is going to be for Aries. Second card is going to be for Leo. Third card is going to be for Sagittarius. And then the bottom card will be the overall energy for all fire signs. For love. From now until December 10th. Just a quick checkup mini love reading for fire signs. Alright, first card Aries. Second card Leo. Third card, Sagittarius, and overall energy at the bottom. Two more, guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, love until December 10th. Alright, overall energy for all signs is the chariot reverse, guys. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be, but this could be like petty arguments. This could be, you know, not traveling, traveling, not getting off the ground, not being able to travel with your partner, not being able to see your partner. This could also be you know, things being stagnant right now, you know, not really going anywhere for some reason. So we're going to clarify everything. So first card, we've got Aries. So we have the Six of Cups. So reflecting on the past, reflecting on relationships from the past, good memories in the past, um, nostalgia. You know, focusing on those good memories from the past. But Aries, it's like things aren't going anywhere right now because somebody's, you know, focused on somebody from the past. Aries, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Cancer or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So Leo, we have the Ace of Cups reversed. So some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and it's like love is just not getting off the ground right now, Leo. Let's see why. Things are just stagnant right now. So Sagittarius, we have the Six of Wands. We have somebody being victorious, someone getting attention, and someone feeling successful. Someone feeling successful. So let's see what's going on here. So yeah, some of you guys could definitely be involved with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for sure. Or another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So Aries could be involved with the Cancer. Reflecting on past relationships, having nostalgia, you know, not moving forward with whoever you're with right now because somebody's focused on the past. Okay, so Leo, you could be dealing with a cancer, it doesn't have to be, but things are stalled right now. There may be petty arguments, there may be, you know, no travel to see the person that you're involved with or that you want to be involved with, and that's why love is not getting off the ground. Love is here, but it's not getting off the ground. This could also be self-love as well, you know, not feeling victorious, not you know, getting out there and moving forward and maybe a little lack of self-love for Leo. It doesn't have to be. Leo, you could be involved with um, a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. We're going to clarify all of them. So Sagittarius, we've got the Six of Wands. Somebody's being victorious, but it's like almost like somebody's either holding someone back Preventing someone from traveling, preventing someone from moving, preventing someone from switching jobs. Something's going on. Petty arguments. You know, somebody's, like, not letting someone move forward. And somebody's like, I want 
my attention. I want to be victorious. It could be another Cancer, or it could be another Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we are going to clarify for Fire Signs with the Thelema Tarot. So this is for Fire Signs from now until December 10th for Love. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's going on with these signs for love until December 10th? Keep in mind these won't resonate with everyone. They're just mini readings. So definitely stay tuned for mid-month readings because those will be a lot longer. And I'll definitely be switching it up a lot on this channel, doing a lot of different things, a lot of different spreads. Definitely stay tuned. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Aries. Why is the Six of Cups here? Eight of Wands reversed. So, Aries. Somebody's a bit confused. Somebody has a decision to make, either between two different people, either from someone from the present right now. It could be a Cancer. It doesn't have to be, but things aren't going anywhere because someone is blocking, blocking someone right now, not communicating, possibly not communicating with a soulmate, you know, kind of stuck in the past, blocking communication with someone. Could be with a fire sign, another fire sign, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries. So let's clarify again. Aries, why is the Eight of Wands here for Aries? It's like someone's blocking communication with their past, possibly, or not communicating about something or somebody from their past, Aries. That's why, you know, love is not, or things are don't seem like they're moving forward right now. Could be with a cancer. It also could be, ooh, you guys could be wanting to offer love. Wanting to offer love to someone from the past. Or to another fire sign. Definite fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energies here. But somebody's not communicating. Okay, somebody's not communicating here. And somebody's, yeah, Aries, we've got your card. Definitely somebody not taking a risk here, not taking a risk and not wanting to build on a partnership. And there we go, the chariot again. The chariot again for you guys. Things aren't going anywhere right now. Somebody might be walking away. It could be a Cancer, could be an Earth sign, could be another fire sign, water sign. Damn, guys. Okay, so Leo. Things not going anywhere. Maybe petty arguments. Love just not getting off the ground. Could be with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, specifically a Cancer. So Leo. We've got the Knight of Wands reversed. So, this just decided to fly out, even though, though I didn't ask why this was here. But, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You know, someone may be not wanting to follow through on their promises. Somebody may not want be ready to commit just yet. Well, kind of like one night stand type energies here for Leo. Um, it could be with a Cancer. It could be with another water sign, Scorpio or Pisces. So let's see. It's like someone's avoiding, avoiding someone here. Wow, guys. And you have got the Six of Cups as well, Leo. So... You know, nostalgia, thinking of the past, thinking of people from the past. All right. So let's see. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed for Leo? My goodness gracious. Yeah. See, somebody's just not happy putting the work in. Somebody's not happy putting the work into the relationship. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Could get a message from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be juggling 
two people or somebody is juggling two people and somebody is going to end up out in the cold. Somebody's going to end up feeling like they're rejected. And this is not with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is not somebody long term. Not somebody long term here. Somebody's not happy building in this relationship. That's why things are not going anywhere. So it very well could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Earth sign. I don't see any air, but let's see. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed for Leos and love? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed for Leos? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed for Leos in love? Definitely somebody that doesn't want to commit. Maybe just one night stand type energy. That's why, you know, things aren't going anywhere in love right now. Okay. Alright, we definitely had a lot fall out. Guys, if you're dealing with an... Um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they definitely may be hiding, hiding the fact that they have a third party, okay, and they may be doing some sneaky behavior, hiding some sneaky, be sneaky behavior and not expressing this. It also could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's trying to get away with something s sneaky, you know, this is lying. Um, sneaking around, cheating, or even theft, okay? And the moon is definitely secrets here. So if it's an earth sign or a water sign, there's definitely some sneaky behavior going on. And again, we have the knight of wands. It could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone not committing. One night stand type of energy. Somebody not following through on their promises. Somebody that's not going to build with somebody long term. And it's also got the tower reversed, so it's almost like somebody's avoiding a disaster here. You know, there also could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved for you guys as well, Leo. Interesting. Alright, Sagittarius. So it's like this push and pull with Sagittarius. Like, things don't seem to be going anywhere, but somebody's feeling victorious. Alright, why is the Six of Wands here for Sagittarius? Queen of Cups reverse. So, some of you guys, Sagittarius, you could be involved with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, specifically a Cancer or another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could be expressing that they want more attention, or you could be expressing that you want more attention, and you know, that's why things aren't going anywhere. Somebody could be emotionally manipulating a situation. That's why things aren't going anywhere. But somebody is getting, somebody's getting attention here by emotionally manipulating. Okay, it could be a money situation as well. I'm also seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed for Sagittarius in love? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Again, Sagittarius. So weird. Someone, somebody's stuck on the past. Okay. Some nostalgia. Thinking of somebody from the past. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There could be a victory with them. But it's just, it's stagnant right now. It's not moving forward. Somebody could be expressing their emotions. Or, you know, feeling victorious about the past. For Sagittarius. Hmm. Or this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you know, may, may be stuck in the past, holding on to the past. Yeah, there's definitely some manipulation going on for Sagittarius. All right, and somebody may be very confused and conflicted about what they want to do. You know, two different paths that they need to choose from or two different people. They may you know, need to choose from, you know, a relationship that was in the past. 
or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, specifically a Cancer or an Aries, I'm seeing. And there may be, you know, a message of bad news or gossip, Getting receiving a message of bad news, you know, somebody not wanting to grow within a relationship. And there's definite conflict and fighting attached to that as well. Keep in mind, this can be, you know, this can involve family, this can involve friends, um, this can be, involve people that you're involved with, it can go any which way. So apply it as you may and take what resonates with you and just leave the rest. Alright, so Romance Angel cards for fire signs. What do fire signs need to know in love? from now until December 10th. We have got, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe for you to love, fire signs. Safe for you to love. And on the bottom, we have got let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So just kind of let it go with the flow, or you know, if you're dealing with somebody else, they need to let go, let it go with the flow. You know, none of this manipulation bullshit here. But if you guys are, Leo, if you're happy with this one night stand stuff, all the more power to you. I do not judge whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was short, but I hope you guys stay tuned for mid-month readings and definitely subscribe if you would like longer videos in the future. Thank you, Fire Signs. Have a good one.